So if you're brand new to Articulate Storyline, how do you actually get started with creating your first e-learning project in Storyline? Well, that's exactly what I'll show you how to do in this video. Stick around. Hey there folks, Tim Slade here from the eLearning Designers Academy. You know, if you're just getting started with learning or creating your first project in Articulate Storyline, it can be a little bit overwhelming figuring out where to begin. So in this video, I'll share some basics and some best practices when creating your very first new project in Articulate Storyline. Let's jump into it. All right, so here I am on my Windows desktop and to create a new project in Articulate Storyline, the first thing we need to do is launch storylines. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Articulate 360 app here and click open to get storyline up and running here. We'll give it a few moments to think and load. All right, so once we have Articulate Storyline up and running, there's a couple different ways we can create a new project. Obviously, we can create a new blank project, which is what I'll do here in a moment. Of course, we could jump straight into recording our screen or we can import different types of content. So I'm going to go ahead and click here to create a new project from scratch. And it'll take a moment here to load. All right, and as I've shared before, when I give a tour of the Articulate Storyline interface, when we first create a new project in Articulate Storyline, it brings us here to Story View, which is a high level overview of our entire project in Articulate Storyline. Now, you might be tempted when you create a new project in Storyline to jump straight in and start designing slides and adding content. But you know what, there's a couple of really important things that you want to do before you start creating content. Um, and you also have to think about what type of slides you're creating and how you're going to create them. The one thing that I always do before I start doing anything in Articulate Storyline is I always set my slide size. Now, by default, when you launch a course in Articulate Storyline, your slide size is a four by three aspect ratio. Now, that might be fine for you. But I have to ask, you know, do you really want a four by three aspect ratio? Now, a little bit of a history lesson. We're gonna go down a rabbit hole here. Four by three aspect ratios for slides and screens used to be pretty standard, but that's when we had those, you know, old clunky desktop computers from the, you know, two thousands. Nowadays, most people use widescreen monitors and widescreen TVs and other devices, which you know, a four by three aspect ratio would fit just fine, but it wouldn't take advantage of all of the real estate available to us. So traditionally, or uh, what tends to be a better um, aspect ratio is a 16 by nine aspect ratio, which is a widescreen aspect ratio. So I always like to change my slide size. And to do that, I'll go ahead and go to the design tab here in the ribbon. And you'll notice over here on the far right hand side, we have slide size. And I'll go ahead and click on that. And it brings us to a new window here. And this is where we can change the aspect ratio of our slides. Right now we have our four by three aspect ratio, which is 720 by 540 pixels. But I can click down here and you can see we have a 16 by nine aspect ratio, which I'll go ahead and select here. And of course, I could do my own custom pixels for width and height here. Now, the reason why it's so important to change your slide size early and before you add any content is if you design your whole course and add a bunch of content onto your slides and then later you want to change the aspect ratio, it's going to stretch and distort all of that content. And you know, nine times out of 10, you're gonna have to redesign every single one of the slides and you don't want to do that. So the first thing you always want to do is set your slide size. So um, I've changed it to 16 by nine. I now I can, if I wanted to, I could set this as the default. So every time I create a new project, it will be 16 by nine. I won't worry about that right now. And I'll go ahead and click okay. And now we have a 16 by nine aspect ratio, which gives us more real estate and is going to uh, look better, more modern on different uh, screens and devices that our learners might look at our courses on. Now, before we continue, again, you might think, great, let's start adding content to our slides. Well, before we do that, what we want to do is save our project. <laughs> you always want to save early and often in Articulate Storyline. And although Articulate Storyline does have an auto save feature, you know, it's great. It saved me countless times. I don't ever like depending on it. So I always like to go and save my project, which I can do from the file tab here. I could cl click the save icon, of course, and I'm going to go ahead and click save as to save my project. And I will put this on my desktop here and we'll just call this new e-learning project. And you'll notice that it is a dot story file. So I'll go ahead and click save here. And now I have my project saved. Now I'll go ahead and minimize this real quickly just so you can see there's my new storyline project there. There's my file on my desktop. I'll talk about file management here in a moment. And we'll jump back in here to Articulate Storyline. 
Now, once you've created a new project, you've adjusted your slide size and you saved your project, now are you ready to start creating content in Storyline? Yeah, you are. And I'll give you a couple of tips on the different ways you can go ahead and create content. Um, you know, you can always create content from scratch by adding content onto your slides. Uh, but one of the things that you might consider doing is using content from the content library in Articulate 360, uh, along with creating your own master slides or maybe importing content from PowerPoint. So, you know, as always, I can always go ahead and start adding content to my slides here from the insert tab. I can insert pictures and shapes and design my slides from scratch. If you happen to be working with a template that maybe your company has provided, um, let's say a PowerPoint template, you can always go to the uh, file tab and do an import and import from PowerPoint. Importing from PowerPoint, while it can be really helpful, I don't always recommend it. I have a separate video on that, um, that you can check that out. Uh, but importing from PowerPoint allows you to import the slides and the master slides from PowerPoint into Storyline, which can be like a springboard uh, for creating your projects in Storyline. It can save you some time, but you also need to massage the slides once you get them into Storyline. Now, if you're creating your slides from scratch, one of the things that you might want to do is edit your master slides. So if I go to the View tab here in the ribbon, you also have the option to edit your slide masters. Uh, without going into a lot of detail about the way slide masters work in Storyline, they are exactly a thousand percent the same as slide masters in PowerPoint. So if you've used slide masters in PowerPoint for presentations or instructor-led trainings, then slide masters work exactly the same way in Storyline. And what Slide Masters allow you to do is to create a layout with different objects on your slides and then repurpose those so that you don't have to create your slides from scratch. And again, I'll have a separate video on Slide Masters. Now, the final way that you can create content and start designing your slides in Storyline is by using the content library. Now, if you happen to have a subscription to Articulate 360, uh, Articulate 360 offers a really vast library of different templates and layouts and interactions that you can download and import directly into your projects and start creating content from them. So if I come to the Slides tab here in the ribbon, you'll notice up here there's an option for Content Library. I'll click on this and this will open up the content library for Library 360. And this is where we can uh, choose from literally hundreds, maybe thousands of different slide templates. And they're organized here by type. We have opening uh, slide templates that have all sorts of different uh, layouts with people and you know boxes and text and layouts and shapes. Uh, we have titles and sections here uh, for title slides. We have content slides here for different types of content slides that includes images and icons and all sorts of different layouts. And of course we have interaction slides. For example, we have these different scenario slides we can choose from to create our content. And they have different light themed ones and dark themed ones. And it gives us a lot of really different options for creating content in our project. So for example, let's say I was creating a title slide for a new, I don't know, a leadership project. I can come down here and find all sorts of different slides, uh, layouts uh, to create a new project. And here's a real simple one here um, that has a big blue uh, background and some content here. And I can go ahead and insert that. And it'll take a moment to download from Articulate 360 and it'll bring it over into our project. All right, so now that we've downloaded that slide from uh, our content library, here it is. And you know, if I were creating a course, like I said, on Leadership 101, go down to our subtitle here, if I can highlight that. Amazing leader, there we go. We have our first slide built in Articulate Storyline. Uh, and like I said, it operates just like PowerPoint, right? And of course, I can hit our save icon up here to save our project. Now, if I minimize this, um, I wanna mention real quickly, you know, here's our file. We've gone ahead and saved that onto our desktop. And I wanna mention a couple things about, you know, managing files in Articulate Storyline. One of the best practices is to always edit your files locally on your computer, right? So for example, if you work um, in an office where you have a shared drive in the cloud, you wanna treat it like bringing a book off of a library shelf onto your desktop and edit it on your computer, right? So for example, I use Dropbox to organize all of my project files in the cloud. It allows me to back them up. Whenever I'm working in Storyline, I always bring the file locally onto my computer for editing purposes. And then when I'm done, I put it back into 
um, my drive in the cloud on Dropbox or whatever service you might be using um, so that it doesn't corrupt the file because that's what will happen with it is it'll get corrupted. All right, so that's how to create a new project in Articulate Storyline 360. Pretty easy peasy. So in terms of next steps, if you want to continue learning how to use Articulate Storyline, check out the links down below for all of my Articulate Storyline resources and videos. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, make sure to click that like, subscribe, and bell button to get alerted the next time I publish a video just like this one. And of course, join me inside the eLearning Designers Academy, where we focus on helping new instructional designers and eLearning developers grow their careers by focusing on skills first. Otherwise, my name is Tim Slade, and until next time, I'll see you around.